result or maybe it's few rows or uh, columns it's usually 10 up to 50 however uh, the good thing is uh, you can change this setting to display all the output or a larger number of uh, items so i will show you how to display and how to print out all rows and columns uh, that especially when uh, these results uh, displayed in a console so let's create uh, this uh, example it is a method of uh, alpha alpha latest design randomization and uh, uh, for two location so i am expecting uh, to have for example here is 55 treatment and three replication which is 165 and here is uh, two locations so i'm expecting to have uh, 330 uh, rows so let's see what are displayed to us yeah as you can see here is only uh, the first 12 rows uh, are uh, displayed but i want to see the entire uh, randomization uh, result so how to get the omitted as you can see here as you can see here uh, are uh, about 300 uh, 318 rows are omitted so uh, in order to display all the result or all the randomization uh, procedure uh, or the randomization result so i have to do this method it's very simple you have to use this uh, function the first is options then you have to specify the maximum uh, value that you want uh, to see so let's say this value then submit to our studio then let's run this again yeah as you can see all the observation or the randomization uh, procedures are displayed in the uh, console as you can see yeah if you remember the previous one is only for 12 but this is display all the or the entire uh, result or the entire uh, row so if you want to minimize this one to some particular uh, you can change this number into this and you can get the result again in this one so this is uh, all about today's tutorial regarding to displaying or printouting of all rows and columns in our software using the option and the maximum uh, print so you have to specify this one to get the maximum value in our software thank you for watching have a nice time.